Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to do a boot Ubuntu with Windows. This method will be available in the Mac, but I'm not so sure how to do it. But in, mainly in this tutorial, we will be doing Ubuntu with Windows. So, um, this method which I will be showing is dual booting it, of course. But um, you're wondering, will it make any harm to your computer? No, this won't, because we will be using an option called Install Inside Windows. What this does, it, it brings in a context menu in Uninstall uh, Programs within Windows By the, so that anytime you want to uninstall Ubuntu when you have issues you can uninstall it from here and reinstall it by using this method so first things first to start off to install this and to be prepared go to daysmutools.com but I'll provide the link in the description just navigate here and click on download and that program should be about it and I'll show you the steps with it in the following future so head back to uh, Ubuntu.com just head to the website the link will be provided and once you're here, you should notice 11.04 is here. This website and this video might be old or new, or they might have 12.04 or 11.10. But either way, this method will work with any version of Ubuntu. So to get started, just click on Get Ubuntu since we are getting it. Um, ways to get Ubuntu, there are three options you can do from a USB stick or run it with Windows. I recommend doing the download and install method. I will explain everything perfectly through this tutorial. So click on the first one. And once you arrive here, it will ask you all these options. I prefer not to do it this way because the servers might be slow, but depending on your internet, I suggest going to alternative downloads. Once you click on that option, number two, where it says BitTorrent Download, go ahead and click on that, and instantly it will bring you and scroll you down. You should see Ubuntu 11.04 or the latest release of Ubuntu. Do not get alternate because these are alternate links if these two don't work. You'll see two that says Desktop. One is AMD64 or i386. If you do not get this, AMD64 is for 64-bit computers and the i386 is for 32-bit computers. If you're running Windows 7 or Vesta, um, just do this step very quickly. Just go to your Start menu, right-click on Computer, click on Properties. This window should pop up. Scroll down until you see System Type under System and it should say 64-bit Operating System or 32-bit. So to get things straight, AMD 64 is for 64-bit operating systems. AI386 is for 32-bit operating systems. I have AMD 64, so go ahead and click on that link. And that should be it. By the way, when you do this, you will need uTorrent, so go to www.utorrent.com. This link will provide you the option to download the torrent from Ubuntu. Once you downloaded it and you saved it to your desktop, you should get a file like this with a WinZip icon or any sorts of icon. But at the end of it, it should say AMD64 i386 with Ubuntu's name in the beginning. So basically, you just leave that alone. And I re remember how I said get Damien Tools. I already have it. I installed it. So um, to mount the ISO image to install Ubuntu without using a CD or DVD, navigate to your task tray at the bottom right of your screen and hover over the Damien Tools lightning icon. Right click, click on virtual devices device 0 or whatever is random here and then click on mount image navigate to the area or destination where you saved Ubuntu's ISO image I have mine so I'm going to click on open it should take a while to mount and then this window of the Ubuntu menu should pop up after you have it open it should say install inside windows see this read the description below it install and uninstall Ubuntu like any other application etc and this is the reason why I'm doing this method instead of doing a full installation and an installation from your USB this is probably the best the safe safest way so anyways click on the middle button there this option should pop up it doesn't matter which installation drive you choose the C drive will be perfectly fine which is your main drive and your installation size if you're going to be using Ubuntu for uh, video editing purposes, I suggest using 10 gigabytes. If you want to use it to have fun with the visual effects, go to about 5 gigabytes to 3 gigabytes. My own is set at 10 gigabytes and set your password. Leave this alone and leave this alone unless you know any other language. So I'll be back once I'm done typing my password. So after you got everything done and set, just click on install. The installation should be probably about 5 minutes and I'll be back until it's done.
So after the installation is done, depending on your computer uh, manufacturer and specifications, it should be very quick. Click on reboot now, but right now I ain't. So uh, just click on reboot now and click on finish. And I'll be rebooting my computer with you following the steps very carefully. Alright, let's get ready to restart our computer. And here we go. Now this part, just let it restart and you will have an option of uh, choosing Ubuntu or Windows. Of course, we will be choosing Ubuntu. This part, the installation is installed with its boot files, but um, this is the real installation of the operating system. This is perfectly safe and now you have Windows 7 or Ubuntu to choose from every time you boot up in your operating system. So we choose Ubuntu. It will continue with the completing the Ubuntu in installation. The boot menu will pop up. This part might take a while because, you know, of course it's the installation. Now this menu of the installation progress bar will come along but it will give you some visual interactions with the installation. Um, pretty much it will take quite a while to install about probably uh, 15 minutes or 30 minutes tops depending on your computer. So it will give you a slideshow of all the features welcoming you to Ubuntu. Um, find even more software with Ubuntu Software Center. Have fun with your photos make mobilize your digital life and yeah so um just let it do its thing and I'll be back until the installation is done I'll just cut it this video a bit so yeah okay guys just a quick tip here but when it comes to downloading language pipe uh, packs um, a great suggestion is to skip it if you don't know how you should see this little arrow on top of it right there click on that and then just click on the skip button this is not necessary if you want the language packs but I always skip them so when you click on skip the installation should just go right there quickly alright after the installation is done it should automatically reboot Ubuntu and that should be it for the installation so as soon as your computer starts up it will be showing the boot menu of course but we want Ubuntu so click press enter click I mean press so it should get started up I have a second monitor here this kind of boot menu will pop up just choose the first one of Ubuntu Linux if you can see that right there and press enter that should be pretty much it every time you boot into Ubuntu so as we get started in it should be started up it'll bring you to the, the what's that called the login screen but um, in the future the login screen will look completely different compared here so this video might be outdated like I said earlier so of course just log in and I'll be on the screencasting mode alright now that you have Ubuntu that should be it and you have it fully installed if you I'm not gonna show a review of it because I have it a previous video that already did a review so uh, here's the video and the other one is Compass for your special effects and the other one's a playlist of all the customization you can do in Ubuntu so this is basically it watch the review so you can know what's in unity for the environment of Ubuntu thanks for watching goodbye